Hello, my nerd friends out there. This is Miss Chill here, and I gotta talk to you guys about a cool ass anime I'm watching. Hell's Paradise. You guys probably heard it. It's that good. It's probably everyone's watching out there in my book. It's right now the two top animes that's going on right now. It's probably Hell's Paradise and Demon Slayer in my book. Awesome time to watch anime right now. We got a lot of great animes out there. We got Marshall. We got uh, Hell's Paradise. We got Demon Slayer. Uh, Dr. Stone, if you're into Dr. Stone. Uh, who else is out there? Um, ooh, Villain Saga. So many great animes out there. I'm going to talk about all that with you, with you guys. But Hell's Paradise is first. There's five episodes. The action. The action just awesome. The art, awesome. So many cool characters in here. The two main characters, Gabri uh, Gabri Murrow and Sagayi, two awesome characters. Uh, Sagayi is uh, a female executioner slash samurai. That's kind of they're kind of both playing the role. I think um, it's mostly samurai, but they do execution to convicts. You know, uh, that's what she was kind of like brought up. Her father was kind of like an executioner and a samurai. She was raised up um, seeing her father doing this. She practiced, did it so many times. A clean cut painless cut she's pretty good swordsman but the place they're in right now it's a whole nother level like i said i don't want to give up too much spoilers but this this anime hell's paradise is, is what this whole show is about basically you've got all these convicts all these characters samurais and convicts going to the island that is supposed to be paradise supposed to be paradise um but it's not because any, anyone that goes to the island is dead. Comes back to form with flowers. And um, basically they're like a zombie out. Like just a creature looking. And not even to begin what's on the island as well. Just so many monsters and half breeds. Like half people, half fish. And half people and insects. And just the insects creepy as hell. Just this kind of reminds me has a feeling of like berserker style in a way. It's like that crazy art style and that crazy form just oh my god just amazing all around and the convicts are so cool um like gabi Miro, a, a ninja basically has unique powers like he couldn't like be killed like the beginning of the show starts him getting executed but he, it's nothing to work on him they can't burn him alive they can't um cut him they can't freaking um pull him apart he can't do nothing but he can't die he can't get hurt but and his whole goal is to uh, get pardoned and go back with his wife. He has a, a, a wife and he wants to be a good husband, be a good uh, to her and make her proud, basically, and be a better man. That's his whole goal in the story. And that's pretty cool. It's a different story, you know, not trying to be the strongest or be right or good, whatever. It's be back when he wants to go back being the husband. He wants to go back to see his wife. And I hope he succeeds. He introduced care. Gavin Murrow is cool, cool ass fight scenes when he gets to the island. Definitely the <laughs> episode two. When he had this um, big old gathering of all the convicts in there, you get to know some of the characters in there, and they have this big old fight and all that stuff to see who could go to the island, you know? Because you got basically it's like the Suicide Squad. You ever read the DC comic Suicide Squad uh, or see the movie? You get all these convicts, and these the government sends them out to do this impossible mission, and they don't care if they die. That's what they, they treat them. Like the Shogun gets all these convicts that are on death row. And send them to this island. Hey, if you make it to this island um, and bring me back the elixir, the fountain Louvre, or the holy grail, whatever it is, and bring it to me, you'll be pardoned. Free of all your crimes, you'll be set free. Only one could do it, though. There's like, I think like 10 of them that sent over there, 15. I forgot how many because there's a bunch of dies. And they're like, that's what's cool because you, you don't know who's going to live or die. I don't, I, I don't know if they finished the manga in this story. Or the novel, I don't know nothing about that. So don't spoil it if you know the manga or the ending of this already, or if it's finished. I have no clue. I just been I, once I saw Hell's Paradise, I saw on Twitter that it's been good. I was, I'm, I'm gonna give it a try, and just woo, it's been nonstop every episode. There's five episodes now, and just perfect, perfect. Love the characters in it, and I wonder who's gonna live through all this. Who's gonna succeed and bring it back? It's some all the like. If you get in touch with some of the characters, like there's some brothers in there that I hope they live. Cause they're pretty cool in my book. I, I rock with brothers. I have a brother of my own that I'm very close to. And I, I see the resemblance, me, him, and the characters. 
in this story. So I hope they survive. Don't know, I, I could be far off. They'll probably be dead next episode. Who knows or what's going to happen? I don't know. But just awesome. And definitely, I like Gamaru. Gamaru. Uh, Gamaru. Forgive me if I mispronounce his name, but the one who wants to return is his wife. I hope he survives. The Some of the samurais are pretty cool, too, because you got the samurais that are rocking with the... Not rocking with them, because they're not friends. They have to be with their convicts. To The convicts are able to um, get pardoned and succeed in a mission. They have to bring their execution with their... Or their samurais with them. They, they can't be by themselves, or they're, they will be killed. And I have a feeling... This is just my prediction. I'm not saying it's going to happen, or I know it's going to happen. I just have a feeling they're going to die no matter what. The, the, the convicts. You know, they're not going to let them go free. Like, some of these people are monsters. Like, dude, they're, they're brutal. Some are, are not that bad. Some are okay. But some are calm. These convicts are evil as shit. So, ugh, imagine they bring back the elixir. You think they're going to let them get that monster go? Nah, 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 nah. So, that's it's, that's what I say. It's going to be interesting what's going to happen at the end of this. You know, I wonder the, the, how many episodes this series has. I don't know. But I'm all for the ride. But comment below. Give me you guys' thoughts on Hell's Paradise. What you guys like about the show so far? I'm going to do, when the show is finally over, I'm going to talk about it again. Get my full review on it. Right now, it's just five episodes in. And the, all five episodes, amazing. Love the characters we got so far. The devs are crazy. The action's awesome. But comment below. Give me your guys' thoughts. And who you think is going to live through all this? Obviously, the part of the main character. But who else is going to survive? Is more characters going to survive this? Are they all going to team up and get off the island? Uh, or what is the elixir look like? Is there a fountain to leave? We don't even know there is a fountain to leave. Or something like that. We don't even know that. But comment below. Give me your guys' thoughts on the show. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Please comment below. But thank you all for watching. I love talking anime with you guys. So please hit that uh, like button if you like my video and subscribe to my channel to get all my anime reviews and my anime talk. But thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.